Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? USCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, I had a very interesting question asked to me yesterday, man. And uh, look, this is a very valid question, man. Who would you take, Caleb Williams, or would you take Bryce Young? That's that's an incredible question. Both guys won Heisman trophies. Both put up incredible numbers. Both are very mobile quarterbacks. Both um, can do anything you ask them to do. When you're talking about from an intellectual standpoint, when you're talking about a football IQ, when you're talking about just making the throws, uh, each one of them, um, they have those same attributes, man, to be the best of the best as quarterbacks. So I want to look at their numbers from the Heisman Trophy winner um, years that both of them had, you know, Bryce Young and Caleb Williams. But then also I want to look at, um, what will separate them? What will be the separating factor from USC, excuse me, not USC, from uh, us taking uh, either Caleb Williams or taking Bryce Young? If you had the number one overall pick, who would you take? I have an answer, and, you know, I'm not going to be biased about it, but I have an answer. You got to realize uh, Bryce Young is from the state of California, so I love you, you. You guys already know I love my California guys, but if I had to take one, which one would I take? I'm going to give you guys my actual answer um, coming up here in just a second. Also, I want to give a big shout-out to Hugo. Hugo, um, he posed this question yesterday to me, man, so this is one of the questions I want to address. And look, man, any guy, anybody who wants to – to uh, uh, have a topic for discussion or a question, I will address it in the form of a video. Um, you know, it, it just, you know, depending on what the specific question is. But this is Hugo, man. Shout out to him. Um, he says, USCJ, who are you taking? College Bryce, Bryce Young or Caleb Williams? Um, and so, look, man, here's going to be my answer. Let's take a look at their numbers real quick. All right. When Bryce Young won the Heisman Trophy, Bryce Young um, you see here, look at the 2021 year. He had three, he went for 366, uh, for 547 and he threw for 4,000. Well, total yards was 4,000. This was including running 4,872 yards. That's quite a bit of yards. Um, you know, Bryce, I mean, Bryce was a beast. Let's just give Bryce his credit where credit is due. Bryce was an actual, um, incredible player, man. He did everything that you could possibly ask him to do. Um, so my question to you is, uh, how do you discredit this? I don't think you can discredit it. We just have to kind of compare. There may be a split decision here, just like in boxing. You have a unanimous decision, which we know there's no unanimous decision that's going to be on the table right now. And then you have a majority decision or you have a split decision. Right now, I think we're going to have a, a split decision or, or, or you could possibly even have a draw. But I'm going to tell you why it's not a draw. I'm going to tell you why it's going to be a split decision um, today when we come down to it. All right, Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams, you see here, um, 4,500 yards on the season, 42 touchdowns, five INTs with a QBR of 87.6. Um, you guys know Caleb was the man. I mean, he did everything, single-handedly did everything. And we could argue this when we look at what he, <clears throat> Caleb Williams had to um had to work with. Yes, we had a great offensive line, but you know, our defense wasn't always, you know, he he really put the shoulder, you know, the uh the team on his on his back, on his shoulders. And you know, Bryce Young in my opinion had a better uh, support. This is not knocking our defense by no means at all. Um we just didn't have the depth. You know, Leaky Riley came in, he changed the staff. Uh uh he changed the, the roster. And so we didn't have the depth that was that was, you know, that that Bryce Young had. So um, when you look at this, when we're talking about a split decision, um, that's my number one factor why I'm going to give the nod to Caleb. Number two factor is this. Look at Caleb's height and look at his weight. When you're talking about durability, six foot one, 215 pounds. Both of these guys won the Heisman Trophy. But, uh, you know, I got to give the nod to Caleb simply because, uh, number one, the support. Um, when you talk about from a defensive perspective, uh, not trying to put it all on your back. Um, and then the size. When you look at the size, I just feel like he will la – and this is not knocking Bryce. I love Bryce. Let me get that straight. But when you talk about the size, I think Caleb Williams, um, you know, a, a little bit stronger, man. You see he's a weight room warrior. He's been getting it. And then if we flip over here to Bryce, you see five foot ten, one ninety four, And then you, you guys know we've seen the video that he has some – some uh, platform shoes or whatever that was during the NFL meetings, man, to make himself look taller. But so, and it's nothing 
like I said, nothing um, um, from a negative perspective with Bryce. I'm just going to go with Caleb Williams, and I'm not being biased from a USC perspective. If I had to pick one, I would say Caleb Williams. You guys hit me in the comments. Thank you, Hugo, for that question, man. Tell me who would you guys pick? Would it be Bryce Young or would it be Caleb Williams with the number one pick overall? And one more thing, Caleb Williams is being compared to one of the greatest quarterbacks right now, which is Patrick Mahomes. Um, Bryce Young's comparison, I didn't necessarily hear a Patrick Mahomes um, comparison. So this is my this is my argument. This is my statement. I think that it's going to be a split decision. I don't think it's a draw. I don't think it's a majority. I think it's a split decision, a small split decision. But I'm going to give the nod to Caleb Williams. You guys hit me in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. Until later on, listen, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.